from an all. outsider's perspective, it seems like Mike Johnson is working. The Speaker of the House, the Republican Speaker of the House, the supposed conservative, is working with the Biden administration to put the priorities of Ukraine above the priorities of the United States and to do something that his own voters don't want him to do. Ah, uh, yes. Margarine Dairy Queen and Cucker Carlson, two of the biggest, loudest mouth liars on the face of the earth, talking here about why Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson is actually doing the bidding of President Biden and the Democrats and the left simply because he supports Ukraine. Which Tucker obviously disagrees with because, as you'll remember, he is a pro-Russian Putin puppet. The following is an interview with the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Putin went on for a very long time, probably half an hour, about the history of Russia going back to the 8th century. And honestly, we thought this was a filibustering technique. But we concluded in the end, for what it's worth, that it was not a filibustering technique. There was no time limit on the interview. We ended it after more than two hours. Instead, what you're about to see seemed to us sincere, whether you agree with it or not. Vladimir Putin believes that Russia has a historic claim to parts of Western Ukraine. Right, whether you believe it or not doesn't really matter because Putin's being so sincere, guys. Just listen to him, he has some really nice things to say. And Tucker ended up doing just that. He went on to platform Putin for over two hours listening to his propaganda with very little pushback. Because Tucker's doing the real hard-hitting journalism, right? He's just asking questions. Like this totally not leading question he debuted the episode of Cucker Uncensored on his ex account with, is Speaker of the House Mike Johnson being blackmailed to do the bidding of the left? It certainly seems that way. His colleague Marjorie Taylor Greene explains. And Marjorie did just that passionately explaining her frustration. And it's outrageous. When you saw Zelensky right there on that interview talking about, oh, we're going to lose territory. Oh, we really need this money. This $60 billion should have been approved yesterday. Let me tell you, we are losing our country to the illegal invasion that's happening every single day at our southern border. And I am so pissed off about it because the American people are pissed off about it. Wait, what the hell? How, how did we go from Mike Johnson to the friggin' border crisis? Speaking of the border crisis, you wouldn't happen to be talking about the one that your own guy, Trump shot down, would you? Right, right, Republicans and logic. I'm so sorry, I forgot. And while our so-called Republican Speaker of the House Okay, we're back on track, for now. Is only working with Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries and Ukraine first Mitch McConnell. Ukraine first Mitch McConnell? When did the grand old party become the party of Putin? It truly blows my mind how Republicans will literally complain until they're blue in the face about the Democrats and their own party and things not getting done. And then when someone actually tries to do what the Speaker of the House is supposed to do, what the government is supposed to do and get something, anything done, then it's, oh, you're a rhino. You're destroying the Republican Party. What Republican Party? Your party is so bad, everyone keeps quitting. Really that miserable right now to be, I mean, from the outside in, it doesn't look that fun. From the inside in, is it that bad that you're saying, I'm done? It is the, the worst year of the nine years and three months that I've been in Congress. Um, and having talked to former members, it's the worst year in 40, 50 years. Yet another Republican congressman has decided to quit his job rather than deal with a toxically dysfunctional GOP House majority. Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin just started serving in the House in 2017, relatively young guy. And he's kind of a standard conservative Republican. He's got a plum assignment as the head of the Select Committee on China. He voted with Trump most of the time, voted in favor of tax cuts against abortion. Today he announced he'll be leaving Congress, wait for it, not at the end of the year, on April 19th. We don't want $60 billion to go to Ukraine because as we slept last night, Tucker, we just went $40 billion more into debt. And that's because the interest on in our debt is so huge and our debt is so massive. Oh, so now the debt is the problem. You mean the debt that you guys keep kicking down the road because you're unwilling to compromise on anything or work like a functioning government to get it under control. Also, have you seen how much debt was added under Trump? 7.2 billion in four years. So no, we don't want to send $60 billion to Ukraine. We wanna put our country first. It's time to care about America. 
Sure thing, Marge. If you actually cared so much about Americans, then why don't you just go and pass a bill to help Americans, rather than infighting and sparking the Republican hunger game? So, I mean, is it true, do you think, that the Republican speaker would bring this up at when your recess ends and get it passed without the majority of Republicans, but with Democrats? Like, it, could that actually happen? Yeah. Yeah, because that's what he's planning to do. Perfect. Let him do it. Let them do something, for God's sake. You people are literally getting paid to be on recess while average Americans are out here struggling. If sending $60 billion to Ukraine gets everyone to work together and actually pass a bill, then do it. Stop complaining about nothing getting done and then constantly trying to stop things from getting done. To put our national security first. It's all about our national security. Fighting a proxy war with Russia in Ukraine, which is a non-NATO member nation, is not protecting America's national security interest. What are you talking about? Ukraine isn't a NATO member because they couldn't become one in time. Because in case you forgot, they got invaded by Russia before it could happen. Aren't you guys the war hawk party? How is fighting a proxy war against one of America's greatest adversaries that's on an invasion kick not protecting national security? This isn't a Republican speaker we have right now. This is a Democrat speaker in the, of the House because there is zero daylight between what Nancy Pelosi did last Congress and what Mike Johnson is doing now is our so-called Republican Speaker of the House. Mike Johnson's not a Republican. That's rich. You mean this guy isn't Republican enough for you? Many historians, the, those who are objective, would look back and, and, uh, and recognize and, and um, give some credit to the fall of Rome to not only the, the, the deprivation of the society and the, the loss of morals, but also to uh, the rampant, you know, homosexual behavior uh, that was uh, condoned by the society. People want to see a peace deal in Ukraine, not murdering more Ukrainians and more Russians. This needs to end. Okay, yes, finally something I agree with here, but it isn't up to us. That is Putin's prerogative. He's the one invading you dunce. Us not supporting Ukraine would still lead to more bloodshed and possibly the downfall of an entire sovereign nation. But no, Mike Johnson has has made a complete departure of who he is um, and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? And there it is, folks, the kicker, the blackmail insinuation we were all waiting for. Yes, Margie, you're absolutely right. We've saved up all our Soros bucks and Zucker bucks and pooled them together to buy off Mike Johnson. It was the top agenda item during the last Antifa meeting, which was organized by Obama. Actually, don't show her that because she'll probably take it literally. But surely she'll back up that outrageous claim. Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. Exactly. You don't. But we'll end here with one thing that Marjorie said that uh, I think we can all agree with. And I think they should throw out every single elected official. I'm not kidding. Every one of us should be thrown out. This government is a failure to the American people. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And also, please consider supporting us on Patreon at the link down in the description so we can take Marjorie up on her offer to get rid of all these do-nothing representatives. For Really American, I'm Kenny Hess, and I'll see you guys in the next one.